where has the integrity gone? Hi, this is Coach Jim Jasson. And now that we're into spring training in baseball, I have been wondering if we can crown a World Series champion with class and integrity. When it comes to the year of 2017, the answer is a definitive no. I have come to admire many athletes who have integrity in class, such as the great tennis player Rafael Nadal and the retired quarterback Eli Manning. So I wanted to take a deeper look at why it's so difficult for some organizations to do it with the right way, with integrity. In this video, I will give you some tips on how you can build a team with integrity. Starting out, you must lead by example. You are always on stage and in the spotlight, even when you think you're alone. All eyes are on you as a coach and a leader, so act like a role model. How do you lead by example? Next, follow the rules. There is a difference between creating an edge for your team and crossing the line of morality. It is crucial to find ways to create an edge within the rules and regulations of your team and organization. How do you add an edge within the rules? Next, handle adversity properly. In life and in business, adversity is going to strike. How will you react? Is it the right way? Are you proud of how you responded to adversity? Next, I can't emphasize enough, be a role model. Professional athletes are on such a big stage and carry tremendous influential power. Some, however, are not great role models. Are you acting upon the big stage with integrity or are you looking just to get ahead at all costs? Next, use failure as fuel. When adversity strikes and you have failure, Use that as fuel to get better. How do you add the motivation to your team? Use that adversity and failure to fuel future activities. Remember, always make changes with integrity and do it the right way. No excuses. Are you making excuses or adjustments? Do the right thing no matter what. Remember, the keys to success when you're by yourself or with your team is that you are always living with integrity and to have three essential keys as a team and an individual, remember these three keys, selflessness, humility, and compassion. And my challenge to you is to develop a person of yourself as a person of high level integrity that will lead others to run teams and organizations with integrity. If you have a challenge to this, feel that you can always reach out to me on my website. I'd be glad to set up a complimentary call. But let's go out together and make the world a better place because we're doing it with integrity.